this banana bread is the healthiest moist most delicious uh -uh, say all the award <laughs> banana bread that i have ever made even my husband said what is it why is my wife this good are you turning into a chef because omo is sweet let me show you so I have my melted butter which I already weighed and I left it at room temperature. You can melt it in the uh, in the microwave if you want but I didn't need to do that for mine. This is also, uh, I have two eggs, room temperature, some milk, room temperature as well. So make sure they're not cold. And then see, this is the style of the show. Your banana has to be overripe. Don't listen to anybody. Even this one, no overripe rich. Like let it look as if it is about to spoil. That is the juice that you need, okay? Now, I have my cinnamon. Personally, I love the taste of cinnamon and the smell as well. Some baking powder, naturally. And then this is the style of the show. You don't need flour. This is what you need. Some oatmeal. No flour needed for this recipe. Some pure vanilla extract. If you have vanilla, you can use that instead. Um, sugar. And I also used brown sugar as well, which I forgot to show you at the beginning. Some salt. And what else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's it. This is everything laid out <laughs> okay let's get started why was i just standing there <laughs> all right so the first thing you want to do is to uh mash your bananas together and you don't need any fancy instrument for this i use my fork to mash it okay if you can use your hands you can use your hands and wear gloves to mash them but see can you see how like overripe the bananas were and I'm mashing just three right because the fourth one I'll show you how I use it later but yeah see it's looking as if it's about to spoil that's what you need you need the juice from the banana <laughs> okay so now I'm going to mash everything together um, I use my fork for the first uh, round just because it will, it will do the job okay some people will tell you use a mixer use the, it's banana bread it doesn't have to be smooth it's not cake that you are baking even though sometimes my husband used to call it cake <laughs> but he is bush from akure <laughs> anyway see my son passing by um so yeah after mashing it then you add your wet ingredients okay so that's the style of this recipe wet ingredients separate dry ingredients separate so wet ingredients we have our mashed banana we have our butter as well and then you mix it together okay sorry 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 i forgot you're supposed to add your eggs as <laughs> add two eggs as well um me i knew my eggs were in bad so i was able to break them directly into my mixture however if you are not sure i highly advise you to break your eggs separately just to be on the safe side okay okay now you use your fork to mix it together and after doing that i decided to use my whisk as well just to make the process faster it's not as if i couldn't have used my fork i think one of the reasons why people really like making banana bread because it's because it's so stress-free like you don't need fancy equipment it's easy to make it's straightforward do you understand and you don't over mix as well so it doesn't have to be smooth it's banana bread and yes i clean as i cook so you already know that <laughs> all right so this is our oatmeal and i was almost held hey jesus is not <laughs> let's pretend you didn't just hear that <laughs> i was almost out of oatmeal but thankfully i had just enough so this is like two cups of oatmeal and we are going to blend it now for blending you can use whatever style suits you right if you want it to be like well blended and i'm saying like very smooth then you know you can go ahead and just let it blend until it is the smoothest it has ever been however if you want to have a little bit of crunchy taste then you don't need to like make it too smooth right so i wanted it to be a bit just a little bit crunchy so yeah that's how i left it and then i just used another whisk yes i have like two or three you know they come in a pack of spoons when you buy them <laughs> so i just whisked it around just to make sure i didn't have like any huge lumps in there 
whiskey 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 now we're going to add our dry ingredients so i'm talking about our baking soda which i use my teaspoon for because i knew i was just adding one teaspoon of each so i didn't want to start doing ceremony of putting them separate so i just took them from whatever container they were in and i added them into my oatmeal okay and let me tell you the truth eh? let me tell you the truth this was my first time making this okay but as the chef that i am <laughs> anyway so i used um typically when i'm baking i use a mixture of brown sugar and uh, granulated sugar which is like white sugar i like to mix them together if you have like coconut sugar you can use that instead for this recipe just to make it like much healthier do you get what i'm saying but i didn't have coconut sugar so i figured this would have to do but next time i'll probably buy like coconut sugar or coconut oil as well instead of using butter you know those little choices just they make a whole lot of difference when it comes down to the final healthy version anyway so i added some brown sugar added some white sugar i've added my cinnamon i've added my baking powder we don't need baking soda for this recipe i think i've added my salt as well and now we're just going to mix it all up gently it doesn't need to be like just whisk it together there's no need for like heavy heavy uh mixing or anything like that so there we go we have our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients now the dry ingredients would go into the wet ingredients why you want to separate them when you are starting is so that you know things are very well incorporated when they are separated right but if you like mix everything together from the start then what you might end up with will be like very hard it won't be moist banana bread because it won't be like fluffed out does that make sense i feel like i'm not using the right <laughs> the, the terminologies that chef would use that a chef would use but as we all know i'm not a chef i'm, I'm a chef in the works okay <laughs> all right so we're just going to mix it together again no heavy mixing and i say this repeatedly because banana bread like if you over mix it then it becomes hard but what you want is that moist you know banana bread that's what's delicious you don't want it to be too dry you don't want it to you know be hard you want it to be moist see now i'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract um i usually add this when i'm done mixing my um wet and dry ingredients because i want it to have like i want the taste to be present okay then i'll add a little bit of makeup milk as well um instead of milk if you decide to use uh can you me <laughs> you can decide to use what's that thing called sour cream you know or something or plain vanilla yogurt greek yogurt greek vanilla yogurt, just something to, to give it an extra oomph <laughs> if you get what i mean so i decided to use this again was my first time using uh, parchment paper for baking i always use it for cooking but i was like ah let me use it for baking today and i loved it it's so headache free because you don't have to wash your pan after or scrub hard at the pan if something gets burnt or something it was so easy to take off so that's what i'm going to be doing moving forward yeah so added i'll uh, make sure see it looks exactly exactly the same exactly the same as banana bread except that you have more texture to it which is understandable because remember we're working with oatmeal okay all right so now we are going to add our final banana remember that i had four bananas to start with yes i did not forget the fourth one i mashed three now this is the fourth this one is for you know it's to garnish I didn't put nuts or anything like that because we have a toddler and I just didn't want to risk it, you know, and I knew it was going to love it. So I didn't put nuts, but you can put like walnuts or something in your banana, in your banana bread when you're mixing it as well or on top as toppings. But this was the one I decided to go with and isn't that pretty? Oh, oh thank me. Don't take me later. Thank me now. By the way, have you subscribed to the channel? If you haven't, ah, sis, bruh bra subscribe thank you and thumbs up the video as well okay because i'm sure you're enjoying it are you feeling it are you feeling it <laughs> all 
I baked in the oven 350 degrees, you know, for one hour. I think about one hour, five minutes, because um, it needed. I needed to make sure it was like done, done, you know. So bake until. Oh, look at that! Just oh my gosh, I want some. Can I have some again? <laughs> bake until your toothpick comes out clear, um, or just a little bit almost clear, just so that you know it's not too dry. That's my style, anyway. Because I like my banana bread moist. <laughs> Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Okay, so look at what I was saying. This was how easy it was to take it out. I, I don't even know if I took ended up taking it off on camera because I was I had to leave it to cool for a couple of minutes. Ah, look at that. The only thing was because it wasn't flour, it didn't rise the way a normal banana bread would. However, oh, I was doing thumbnail here. Sorry, yo. Oh, please bear with me. <laughs> however it was still absolutely delicious it just means you use more oatmeal um and you probably have to bake it more often because again it doesn't rise so much like that otherwise it was absolutely delicious i am telling you i'm telling look at that look <laughs> oh I don't know what else you want me to say this is not camera yes it looks good on camera but i'm telling you it tastes even better okay okay trust me go and make it and when you come back tell me i didn't care thank you thank me now Sha, in the comment section what do you think have you ever tried it you know do you love it are you going to try it whatever whatever your thoughts are please leave them down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching i love you so much i pray god blesses you your homes your marriages your relationships most importantly i pray god blesses you remain in god and god bless you Bye. <laughs>